What up, people? This is Wayne coming to you from an empty space. The studio, which is known as a sofa. Um, if, like me, you have crappy internet, that's supposed to be an hourglass, you get the point. But you want to do stuff like YouTube videos or, or even do like Twitch streaming. One of the things that you'll find with crappy internet is that you can't do it. Well, you can do the YouTube stuff, but it just takes forever to upload. Um, upload footage onto the internet. So, I worked out a way of actually getting half decent internet that would even allow me to stream onto Twitch. And I'm going to show you what I did. So, what you need to do this is you need one of these, which is oh, one of these. You need one of them. This, a repurposed and an anti burglary device. <laughs> Maybe not. Anyway, so this is what you need to do fast internet. A little bit of software, a little bit of hardware. <clears throat> so what it does is this is a MiFi router and what you do is you've got an ADSL connection. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> you've, got an, you've got an ADSL connection which is crappy and slow. Uh, not too bad here. This is a 4G device. So I basically connect it with 4G and I use this software instead of it being just one or the other, this connects the two together. Or basically what it does is it takes the signal from two network connections, stitches it together, sends it together as one large packet up to the internet. And as it goes up into the internet, it's much, much faster. And then when it hits their servers, it decodes it, it knows what to do with it, and off it goes. So yeah, so what I'll do is I'll cut to the computer and I shall show you what it can do. So here we can see I've got the ADSL connection on the left. I'm using Ookla, the speed test website. And what it does is basically sends information to and from your computer to tell you how fast your internet is. And on the left hand side, you can see it's using the ADSL connection and it gets around about 15, 16 download and a maximum of one megabyte upload. And that's my ADSL connection that I have here. So you see on the right, I've just opened up Speedify, which is the software, it is activated. There's two connections, the local area connection is the wire connection to the ADSL router, and the, the 4G connection is a Wi-Fi connection to the 4G router. So you've actually got two network connections on your computer active at the same time. And the software will now stick them both together, and as you can see, it's downloading around about 45 megabytes a second. Uh, the most I've ever seen on that was 70 I've seen I've seen the most downloading. And this is the important one, the upload. So with Speedify set to speed, it gets around about 8 to 10. Sometimes it's on a good day, it gets up to 15 uh, as an upload. And that's much better than the one megabyte a second that you get with just the ADSL. Uh, in theory, it can do 20, time, uh, 20 megabytes a second upload. And to do that, uh, in Speedify, you change the, the connection setting from speed to redundant mode. And what it's doing is it sends the same information up on both ADSL and the 4G connection. Uh, it's basically load balancing itself. It's covering for the other connection when it's not quite right. And you can see there the upload almost always hits 20 megabytes a second now, which is pretty much the, the cap on 4G. So another example here using uh, a file that I uploaded to YouTube, a 1.84 gigabyte file and on my one and my one megabyte a second connection as you can see it's already uploading one megabyte a second. 4G is activated. It's in speed mode at the moment and you see in the speed mode it kind of bounces around a little bit. It's not quite consistent. And now I switched on to redundant, it's solid, about 19 to 20 megabyte a second. So with the one megabyte a second that I had on ADSL, what you find is that um, with one megabyte a second upload, uh, this file would take about uh, four hours. Uh, it's four hours and 20 minutes, according to a calculator that I checked on, uh, to upload. And I've put the clock on there just so you can see that I'm not cheating any kind of any kind of uh, results that you can see. 
the one downside I would say about this method, I mean it works really well and especially for doing Twitch streaming because Twitch streaming you need to have around about say three and a half meg connection although I found it was a bit more stable around about 2.2 meg upload between 2.2 and 2.7 meg upload which is still good enough and sometimes the, the 4G would drop out uh, but because it's got the redundant mode, it still falls back on your ADSL connection rather than just being 4G, because if it was just 4G you would actually terminate your connection to Twitch. But the, your ADSL connection keeps the connection going uh, and it's dropping frames at the mean while it's waiting for the 4G to reconnect and once it reconnects again, then it sends back up again at full speed. The only downside I have found with this um, is that when you've got this going in redundant mode it's absolutely hammering your ADSL connection. It says on the screen there 1.4 and what that is is that some of the return packets coming back down to say yes I've received that information send me some more. Um, so it's actually uploading at the full 1.1 upload but the problem is any other device on the network at home will really struggle trying to use the internet and that's just because we're completely maxing out the ADSL connection upload as well as using the 4G to its potential. So that's it, just finishing off the file now, last 10 seconds. And if you see the time timestamp at the beginning, I think it was 2147 and around about 40 seconds. So it's actually taking 15 minutes to upload almost a 2 gigabyte file compared to the 4 hours and 20 minutes it would take on just the regular ADSL one meg connection. Yo, thanks for hanging around and watching. If you've been watched this to the end, I appreciate that. This has actually been really useful for me um, because I haven't been able to get fast internet fiber or anything in this where I am. And just recently, I managed to get uh, Virgin to recognize this place as being Virgin enabled. Pardon the expression. So I'm actually going to get proper fast, fast internet. But this is what I've been using for the last, I don't know how long, uh, January? So last four or five months. And it's been really, really good. Um, if this has been useful, then please give us a thumbs up. If you didn't find it useful, then stick your thumb up your ass. <laughs> um, until the next time, people. Peace out. Are we, are we, are we, are we, are we...